Now, so far, I've been working here with the main mode view. Of course, and you can see it right here, I can hit the B and I can hear my, see my expansion packs rather. I have everything here. But once I've gotten started with the track, I tend to go to track mode, which is right here, which is command two on my Mac here. And I'm right there, and this is my track view. Now I can take it from the top. Now this is the RB pop demo that's inside of your software. It makes, it makes it easy for me to explain something. You can actually do it yourself at home. So I'm going to come to here. I don't like this keyboard at all. And I've got the brand new Fabrica. So I want to get the new Fabric up here. I'll go select it here with the electric piano, actually. Good. And I, this, I like a lot. This one here. Let's go to um, solo right here in track view. I like that one good. Good out of solo now. So I've got another problem. I don't like this one here. This sound I don't like at all. So I will look select this plugin. Now I'll come back to here. I want to select the plugin type. I want to go here with the OPX4. Select that. Now I want to find a sound. That's a pluck sound I heard. So I'm going to check some of these pluck sounds out here. We got Bell Vibe. Let's try this one here. Okay, I'm not too sure if I'm really feeling that. So I'll go back down to here. Let's try to zen. Oh, I like this one. This might work with the keyboards. Okay, that sounds more real to me. Okay, so we're here now, and we've got these tracks here, and of course, you saw what I did. I selected a brand new instrument for that particular track. What I wanna do too here is show you that we can do everything in here which makes it so cool. Let's say I'm hearing the synth sound here, right? I want to see, see this totally. I'll drag up to here, and now I've hidden the track view. I can see this sound right here. Let's hit this. As you can see, I can play the keys here with my cursor. I can see the notes right here. I can move the notes around. Once I'm through here, I can go someplace else to a different track, but I can also come here. I can write stuff in right here, right? I can write this note in more. Get rid of that note. Boom. I can select a series of notes, a section of notes. I can select those notes. They have a white board around them. Now I can actually change them. I can also erase notes. Uh, these two at the same time, they're not working really. So one of them's got to go. I come back to here, let's say, move my cursor here. I'm going to hit play, not play start. These are hitting the same time. Let's hear it again now from here. I like that better. So I've corrected something. Good. Now, once I've done that, I can also drag it down. But first, you know, I might want to send this track out like an audio. So here, I come to here. I can export this as an audio file. I click on that. Once I do, it took the whole track and made it into an audio file. And of course, it's on my computer, on my desktop. I can do the same also for MIDI. I can export MIDI also at the same time. Now, I'm making sure too that the link track and grid views are linked together. So I wanna make sure the track and the grid views are linked together totally here. So these views are linked and then they're not linked. So I'm gonna make sure that happens totally there. And of course, I have wave files here and lists. Now, there's no wave I have a list of. So there's, this, these aren't samples. I come to here, you see they're not samples. But what they are are a list of events. And my list appears here. It gives me a time right here, pad note, length, velocity, the mod type, the value set for that particular channel pressure. 
We have probability here, and we have ratchet. It's a ratchet set up here. So it all appears right here for us inside of our track view. Now, what I can also do come to here, I'm going to say, okay, that's great. I got great. That's good to me. I'll pull this down. And now I'm right back where I started from, right? So I can go in here and say, okay, you know something? I want to change the height. It's so crowded here so I can come to here, bring, squash my height down a little bit more, and I can get my view better, and I can see it much, much better. Now, also here, this is uh, the tracks. These are the tracks that are actually here in track view. This is the one selected track. As you can see here, I selected number three track, which is the plugin. It says synth melody, and I changed the sound here. Really cool, easy to do, much more easy to do than before. I can also come with a bass here, change the bass, or change another pluck here. Now here I have the drums, and you'll see that I have the drum program icon here, and the plugin icons are here. And of course, my audio track icon is right here, if I have audio in it. Now, what's really cool here, of course, is here for this section of the track view, we have select. We have also here pointer tool. We can erase. I can cut or split sections out. I may want to just mute or not mute right there. So I can select those right here in the middle of this track view. <laughs> 